Welcome back everyone to my subscribers especially, but to you new folks and hopefully you'll become subscribers. Tonight we're going to be making something uh, that you can build a meal off of, not necessarily meal itself, although you can't eat them alone. We're making boxties. Boxties are a traditional Irish pancake. Let's jump right in. I've got one cup of leftover mashed potatoes. Those were uh, red skin mashed potatoes, but use whatever leftover mashed potatoes, as long as it's a real mashed potato, not an instant. That's, that we're going to set aside. That can be left over. In here, I have russet potatoes, because that's what I had. You could also use red skin here. Uh, I used about, I think, four, about this size that I skinned. And then I took to a grater and grated up. Now, the key to this is you have to put these into some kind of cloth. I used an old towel, a really thin towel, and you squeeze and wring out all the liquid that you can get out. You can use a cheesecloth, whatever floats your boat, but you want to get it so that the moisture is out. Let's take that, that's one and a half cups. Like I said, it was about four of those russet uh, potatoes. I'm going to go ahead and try to just uh, combine these up a little bit. They're not going to combine real well right now because we have no real liquid in there because as I just told you, I squeezed all the liquid out. Before we add our liquid, I've got uh, one teaspoon of baking soda and then I've got about, that's a pinch, but we'll call it an eighth of uh, kosher salt. Just push that right in there. This is one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I'm just going to start sprinkling some of this in. And then I'm going to mix until I get all of this into here. So we'll come back with that. As you can see, I've combined in all the flour. This is the shredded raw potato and then the one cup of mashed potato, all nicely combined. What I have here is three quarters cup of um, heavy cream and three quarters cup of milk, regular milk. I'm gonna pour in uh, about three quarters of a cup first. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna to try to combine this so I get a, a nice batter. So just pour it in, mix, rinse and repeat until it feels like it's a batter. As you can see, it is now looking very much like a, a thick, chunky, lumpy batter which is to be expected because we still have the raw potatoes in there. So let's take it to the stove top. So I've got my skillet on about a 3 on mine, so low heat. Uh, Alright, so it looks pretty good. Put that out of the way. I'm going to take a ladle. And this isn't going to exactly ladle out, but I want to have a decent measurement. And I'm just going to dump that right on. Like so. It has actually been about eight minutes. And this is sour cream. We'll serve one with a little bit of sour cream. And a little bit of fresh chopped chives. That would be a savory. You can also eat a boxy plain. Or if you like sweet, this is good old fashioned strawberry jam. You can do it that way. And if you prefer, another traditional way is just a little dash of regular sugar. There you have it. Box these three different ways. They can be savory, they can be sweet. Give them a try, let me know what you think. Otherwise, you know the drill. Subscribe, share, and like. In the comments below. Check back soon for my next video, and I hope you have a wonderful day.